I've come to the conclusion that I need a bigger alternator. With that being said, it's like, okay, I used to sit back and accidentally leave my fault lights on for hours and hours. And somebody said, hey, man, you left your fault lights on. Uh, it'd be all right. Don't worry about it. Because I knew I had North Star. Then, um, there was times where I would leave my, my fault lights on, look out the window and be like, damn, I left them on. Take a nap. <laughs> Wake up nighttime. Look out the window. They still love. Let me go ahead and cut them off. Dead serious. Yes. And, of course, I paid the price for that. I had to spend time replacing the alt. Thank goodness it was under warranty. So, um, yeah. But, also, just besides the lights being on, the battery is not fully charged. And I'm playing my sounds. So, if you got a current draw and your battery is at a level of depletion, your alternator is working to charge that battery and supply voltage to whatever is running, whether it's a set of wipers, whether it's a headlight, light bar, or anything that you add on to your car. So you keep, keep that in mind. Definitely keep that in mind. Um, is it safe to run a second battery in the car with a stock alternator? Without a doubt, 100%. Yes, it is definitely safe. Um, battery chemistry definitely is a, a, um, a great factor. Um, also, just making sure that all your connections are proper as well. Um, I went through every connection in my car. Everything was legit. The only thing that was suspect to me was, you know how like you got a brand new penny. It's shiny copper. It's like the terminals that you buy. But, like, after time, you know, that penny ain't shiny and pretty no more. It ain't corroded. It ain't got the green stuff. It ain't got white stuff on it. It's just, like, darker brown. And that's what my terminals look like. They were just dark brown. So, cleaned them up with a wire brush. They're back with shiny penny. And the impedance was still the same, 0 0.02, which is... The impedance in my test lead, um, the power the power wire I checked that as well, point two which is the test leads. So um, there's no resistance, there's no real resistance yeah. in those lines. North Star battery, <clears throat> the battery I thought was bad. It is very much possible that it could have been my connection on the battery, or just the battery being depleted. Um, once I charged it up, I took it to a different parts store. Okay, I took it to O'Reilly's. And they have the tester that it's a little different from the AutoZone tester. Um, it has the settings for an AGM. You got starting commercial, line and garden, et cetera, et cetera. You have, um, you can test it in amp hours. You can test it in cold cranking amps. Pan fry, deep fry, stir fry. You can test it in cranking amps. You can test it. And um, something else, I forgot what it was, but it's a more detailed test. I did it three times. The first time I tested it at 800 cranking amps, no problem. Then I took it to 900 cranking amps, no problem. I went for the gusto at 1,000, no problem. And of course, I waited, you know, time in between each test. The voltage stayed in the upper 12s throughout each test, even at 1,000 cranking amps. Not cold cranking amps, just cranking amps in general. And then I went to the CCA setting. Did three tests, CCA, all the same. Um, the battery tested good six times. So, it ain't my battery. North Star for the win. Uh, it was just completely drained out. So, I charged it up with my, with my battery tender. And what I plan on doing is just charging my batteries ever so often until I can get my hands on the alternate. And even though, even when I get my hands on my big boy alt, I'm still going to be charging my batteries periodically. Another thing I want you guys to stay tuned is for when I do get the alternator, stay tuned to how I install it and um, how I wire it up. So, that being said, hope y'all enjoy this little update. Um, thank goodness I still... I'm back basing and I'm back in action. Everything is fine. And um, I'm just a happy base here right now. So, 
Peace and bones. Oh yeah. Damn, I'm feeling so drip.